back to my channel my name is Denasia but everyone calls me Nay and that's no E and today's video is going to be a freshman advice video so I wrote down the stuff on my phone for my um advice advice and stuff so I'm gonna just get the grades part out of the way off top so as far as grades go keep your grades up like I'm not you everyone has their own goals of what good grades are or their standard for what good grades are but at least try to keep your grades like A's B's and let me tell you why because freshman year is probably gonna be your easiest year with your easiest classes so if you get an A's all A's or high mostly A's and one B your freshman year you have a little bit of room to mess up down the line if you start off with bad grades it's gonna be really hard for you to like come back from that because that's the foundation and then next um take advantage of you know any opportunities or like anything that you can do to get ahead at your school like for example at my school we have a nursing program early college programs like we have all these different programs so I definitely recommend that if your school has them you definitely take advantage of those opportunities okay so now that we got the boring part out of the way let's get into what you're all really here for which is the advice advice I just have to get grades out of the way because grades are important but we all pretty much know what, it, what to do when it comes to grades like you need to handle your business because at the end of the day you're at school to learn like me personally I'm gonna keep them straight A's regardless but let's get into the other advice so I want to start off by saying I this is not gonna be one of those videos where I'm telling y'all don't do this don't do that because me personally I'm a strong believer and people are gonna do what they want to do regardless me included but I just want to give y'all something like some more things to think about like so that you have some insight when you're making decisions on how you're gonna go into your freshman year or even just high school in general like any grade how you're gonna go into your year like the things that you're like I'm not doing this I am doing this I just want to give y'all some insight and like some personal things from my experience so the first thing is technically not advice but it's just as important I don't care I don't care on that first week of school it's drip or drown like you're gonna probably hear a lot of like teachers and administrators and stuff saying like oh school isn't a fashion show you don't come to school to dress up that first week you do though and I don't know if it's just like because I live like in the Dallas area so it like at these high schools over here it's like a whole thing like them first week of school office is not nothing to play with and I agree with that sentiment so I don't know if it's different it might just be like a down south thing or I don't know but I'm pretty sure it's everywhere that first week is dripping down like put on your best your best everything like me personally I'm gonna eat the first week every single year and that's just that on that I want to include that in the video um but now let's get into the first advice my first advice is like have fun high school is all about having fun experiencing new things like it's your teenage years so you want to make memories experience new things but only do what you want to do it's something that i see so often like people are pressured into drinking smoking skipping all types of stuff just because their friends are doing it or they feel like it's gonna make them cool or they feel like that's what everybody else is doing it so i should be doing too no if you're gonna do something do it because that's something that you want to do like me personally i'm not a smoker never been a smoker probably never will be a smoker but and that's because it's something i don't want to do literally when everyone around me is smoking you should be have a strong enough like willpower in yourself to only do something that you want to do like stay true to who you are i promise you nobody else cares whether you smoke or not like who cares or you do whatever only do what you want to do don't feel pressured by the people around you or what everyone else is doing to do things like for me personally i'm gonna get in trouble for something i it needs to be for something that i wanted to do like if i get in trouble for something and it was just something i wanted to do i'm gonna just be like i did it that's just that on that i did it and that's just the end okay 
this one is a very big one for me try to make a wide variety of friends and when i say that doesn't mean like a lot of friends and this could be friends or associates but just like in high school it's very like clicky like there's cliques there's different groups of friend groups you're gonna have the athletes the this the that try to like mix and mingle into different groups because you're not gonna keep those same friends that you make it's just it's just, like if you get into one friend group friend groups break apart friend groups it's a lot of drama like try to make a different variety of friends because at the end of the day i'm a strong believer in you should have friends for different things like every friend you cannot do everything with every friend i'm not gonna tell my business to but we can might go out and have fun or go to the mall so it's just you should have friends with different suit for different things like i have some school friends like they're cool for school but i wouldn't really hang out with them outside of school or i still have certain friends that we're cool we might hang out outside of school but i'm never telling them my business like you just need to learn the different people that you're going to have in your life and make sure that you're smart about the people that you keep around you. That one is kind of a lot. Friends is like a touchy, a touchy subject in general. For me personally, because let me just tell y'all, I've never had the best luck with friends. Like, and I would say I have like, now I'm pretty sure I have like a solid group of friends. But like in the past, which leads me to my next advice excuse my language but bitches are weird they're very weird very people like you have to just remember when you go into high school and you're meeting these people like that first month of school you're probably gonna feel like oh i met so many friends i met so many people but you have to be very careful about the people that you keep around me because these people are weird and i don't know a nicer way to say it like they're just weird like and then you have to remember that everyone was not raised the same as you so the the values that your parents or whoever instilled in you or the values that you have just like just ruin up not everyone has them like when i tell y'all i've ran this i've had these situations happen so bad like so often because for me i'm very big on loyalty like i'm one of those people i if i call you my friend or like if i call you my friend I'm going to be very loyal because that's just how I was raised. That's just like the type of person I am. But you have to remember that everybody is not going to be the same way you are. So, with that being said, when they do stuff that you feel like doesn't align with stuff that like I would never do that to them. That's why you have to pay attention to the type of people that you keep around me. Like, there are certain people I have. Like, all my friends or the people that I have friends with. I know them. And I know the type of stuff that they would do and the type of stuff that they wouldn't do. And you have to know... Like, when you're choosing to be friends with that person, are you okay with that? Because, yeah, you're going to come across some conniving, trifling people. And you just have to be prepared to deal with that and know that, like, your friend group's going to change. Some people you're going to have to cut out of your life. Oh, this is the one I'm adding. Never be scared to cut somebody out of your life if you feel like they're toxic. I know you're going to want to keep those same friends you had since middle school or just somebody that you got you feel like y'all was like this at the beginning of the year. Once you feel like that person is no longer serving a positive role in your life, cut. Like, I'm perfect on that. Once I feel like you, like you're a toxic person or you're just a person that's not adding anything good to my life, cut and I will not care immediately. Okay my next one is this one is so important and i cannot stress this enough be careful of the reputation that you get your freshman year or in high school in general but specifically that freshman year because when i tell you it's gonna stick with you like trying to shake a reputation is gonna be so 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 hard so be careful because you don't want to be like, a lot of people like to be like, oh, I don't care what nobody think of me or uh, the people's opinions don't matter. Yes, it's okay to be like, okay, I know who I am. I'm self-confident myself. But at the end of the day, re reputation does matter. You don't want to be known as the girl, oh yeah, um, little Jim over there, yeah, she get around. Or 
that's not how you want to be known not even just that or even by like the administrators or the staff at your school being known oh she always skipping school or she never does her work or uh she care about his boys you don't want to be known as any for anything bad like when people mention your name you want people to be like oh you the danasia oh she's sweet or oh she's da 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 anything really other than something crazy like i cannot like tell you how many girls i knew that messed up their re reputation at the very beginning of the school year and even though they might have changed or learned from their lesson as years went on they still are stuck with that same like stigma of oh she did she that like you don't want that to be you so be very wise about the p the company that you keep the things that you do and who you tell your business to because you just like you have to be cautious of that type of stuff like me personally i used to be one of those people that like to see the best in everyone so you tell people stuff or you like to see the best in everyone and it just no keep your business to yourself you know just like be cautious oh another one as far as that reputation thing goes don't be sitting up there talking about people now i'm gonna be real with y'all because i'm keeping it all the way real throughout this whole video me, I, well, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say I love, that makes me sound messy, but that's the whole point, look, I'm gonna have a little kiki every once in a while, but be careful of who you're kikiing with, so what I mean by that is, you don't want to be known as the girl that's messy, or, be, or or even worse, you don't want to, you say something, it get out, and then now you can jump, now you can jump, I don't know if they do that at, at child school, but at mine's that very much so will happen to you, <laughs> So, just be careful. Like, me personally, I think it's everyone's going to gossip. It's natural. Like, it's in a teenager's nature to want to gossip or want to, girl, I just heard this. But you need to have, like, one, maybe two trustworthy people that you can tell that stuff to. Do not be running around telling, talking about everybody to anybody because it's going to get out eventually and it's going to be one or two things that happen. One, you're going to end up in a fight or two, you're going to have this reputation of being this, just this messy person and no one's going to like you. Nobody likes somebody like you don't want to be that person that when you come around, everybody stop talking. You walk in the room, everybody like just hush mode. You don't want to be that person. So don't be talking about people like I know everyone's going to want to gossip in their little friends or in their friend group. But keep it in the friend group, okay? Don't be messy. It's not cute or funny or any of that because when you end up in drama, of course people are going to be mad at you. Like, when you, why are you going around telling somebody I did that or not? Why are you doing that? Okay, this next, this next section, I'm going to talk about boys. Cause I know it's a big thing. Like everyone knows, high school was around that time when uh, y'all was hiding to tell in middle school. If I'm if I'm keeping it all the way honest, but that ain't my business, and that's neither here nor there for this video. We're talking about high school. This is around the time where y'all know everybody want to date, everybody want a little boyfriend, everybody want to, you know, they call them horny teenagers for a reason. But please, and when I say please. I strongly recommend that you try to wait to get into a relationship or talk or talk to nobody at least like a month or two to see like those people's reputations how I was just talking about them reputation because you just want to wait and see like how he act is he one of the people that's just trying to talk to everybody or do he really like you is he really like interested in you like you just want to watch like observe 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 like that's my biggest thing i can say if you just sit back and look sometimes like the whole answer will play out in front of you but just take time before you decide oh this is gonna be my man or are we finna date to really look at them like look how they act the people that they surround themselves with what they're known for because the word like in high school the unfortunate thing about dating somebody in high school is once you date somebody your name is pretty much going to be tied to them. Like, even after y'all break up, y'all are going to, like, people are going to tie y'all together subconsciously. So, this is like, do you want to be tied to somebody who do this, 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 and he got a crazy reputation and all this? No. 
Like, if, like, even when y'all break up, you should still be able to say, oh, like, we broke up, but, you know, y'all should still be able to be cool, because nobody should be doing no trifling stuff. That brings me to my next topic, y'all. If I, I'm not telling y'all not to do it, because I did it, but I regret it. <laughs> I'm not telling y'all what not, not to do it, but I'm telling you, don't date anybody from your school. And I know it sounds like I'm telling you, but I'm just giving y'all a suggestion. Let me tell you why. When you date someone from your school, when I tell you everyone is going to be in your business, everyone is going to be in your business, like... It's going to be people coming up to you, telling you stuff. Like, people going to be, like, it's just, it's a lot. Everyone's going to be in your business. And then, after that, boom, y'all break up. You still got to see this person every day. Hear about them all the time. So you probably going to see him walking in the hallway with his new girlfriend. Like, I just feel like I don't recommend it. And if you can avoid it, I would recommend that, you know? There's so many, like, well, I don't know where y'all at, but in my, where I live in Dallas, there's so many different schools. Like, it's so easy to find somebody that goes to a different school. It's very easy. Like, y'all, I'm telling y'all, I would not recommend dating nobody that goes to your school. I'm just saying. Now, moving on to the next one. I don't judge people. Like, everyone knows. I'm not going to judge nobody because I don't want nobody judging me. But... As far as, like, you know, virginity goes, I only have one thing to say. Just make sure that whenever you do decide to lose your virginity, your virginity make sure that you're ready. Like, make sure that it's something, like I said earlier, that you want to do. Not because everybody else is doing it. Not because the other person wants to do it. It's something that you want to do. That's literally my only advice. Like, when you're about to do it, ask yourself after this. Am I still going to be okay with this? Like, even years down the line, if, when we, if we break up, because y'all probably are just being realistic because, you know, high school relationships rarely last. But keep in mind, will I still be okay with this? Like, okay, I was in love with Tom. Like, he was a cool person to move to. That's my only advice for that. Like, just wait until you are ready and you know for sure that you're going to be okay with your decision. Period. Okay, and my uh, close to that one, similarly, similarly like this essay, <laughs> by any means, if you're going to have, if you're going to lose your virginity, that's fine. Do that. Well, it's not fine, but, well, yeah, it is fine, you know? Well, the, they're, y'all are teenagers. It's going to happen. It's inevitable. I know y'all parents are going to be sick to hear that, but it's inevitable pretty much. So when you feel like you're ready, do that. But by any means, do not send no nudes don't when i say don't do it because people change like you may feel like, oh he would never baby he will he probably will because i cannot uh like count the amount of times where like people have gotten exposed and like i like see the toll that that takes on people not even like girls and boys get exposed but specifically girls because when boys get exposed unfortunately people don't treat it as big of a deal but when it's a girl oh it's the end of the world she's a da 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 yeah, people calling you all types of names people talking about you you're labeled as a whatever well, there's a couple words i've heard like don't freaking do it i'm sorry don't like you can i cannot tell you the amount of times where i've seen like people who have such like good reputations and that one little picture, that one Instagram post, that one Snapchat just ruins it. So by it all means, that's the one thing I'm telling y'all: do not do everything else. It's just it's just a recommendation. I'm not your mama, so you know that's not here nor there. But this is what I'm telling you: don't do it. Okay, moving on. Try to get involved in. In school in general, just try to have like a little bit of school spirit. Like me personally, I'm not going to sit up here and tell y'all y'all have to get involved in sports. Y'all have to get involved in clubs because I didn't do it. And I'm, I don't regret that at all because it's just not something I want to do. Like the stuff that I want to do, 
it's not necessarily school related i didn't feel like committing that much time to a school that don't like for what especially because the sports at my school don't win they actually pretty much all the teams suck um a good majority of them even like the clubs and stuff they're mid like in my school that's a whole other thing like don't get me started on, the, on my school don't get me started but like i just feel like you should at least be involved in the big things like you should go to homecoming go to the homecoming game like try to go to some football games some basketball games prom like the big stuff the pep rallies like the big things you need to be involved in because the worst thing is if you go and you don't have a good time okay you can just talk mess about it Ooh, that was it was so lame da 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 but the worst things for you to get to the end of your high school experience and be like i don't have no memories like i didn't do anything like that's that's awful if you if you do it and you don't have a good time at least you can say you did it or at least when like in the future when your kids ask you about it you can be like yeah at least you have something to tell them like i my biggest thing is i don't you don't want to live life with regrets and that includes high school at the end of high school you don't want to regret not doing something like you don't want to regret being like oh i didn't go to my homecoming i didn't go to prom i never went to any games like you want to have memories and have fun in high school because honestly that's what high school is all about of course grades and stuff come first but you just need to have fun make memories because this is the our pretty much last time in our whole life so we're gonna be young free you ain't got no bills well y'all might but for the most high school students you ain't got no bills you're just living living life your job is to maintain good grades like i don't know about y'all but that sounds like a, a better alternative than a nine to five the message i'm trying to get across in this video is that when you're a teenager this is your time to live make mistakes don't anything don't do anything too stupid but you know live like this is the time you're gonna make mistakes it's inevitable but just make sure that you make smart decisions to the best of your abilities because at the end of the day if you do make a mistake it's not really the end of the world because who 10 years from now is gonna be looking back on their high school like dang i shouldn't have did that or dang like i shouldn't have I shouldn't have skipped class that one time. Like, honestly, it does not, it's not going to be that matter. Except, unless, unless, it's a big unless. The two things that are, they're going to follow you for the rest of your life, don't get pregnant, don't go to jail. <laughs> That's, <laughs> because that record going to be there and that baby is going to be there. So don't do that. Don't do that. But anything else, like, of course, try to make smart decisions. Like, don't get hooked on drugs or nothing. But, you know live life like me i'm a very yolo person within reason like me i'm gonna have fun i'm gonna experience life i'm gonna you know these next well i'm a junior this year by the way i don't think i said that i'm gonna be a junior this year these next two years i'm going to have the best years of my life but i'm still gonna make sure them grades are up i'm still gonna make sure that i'm handling my business i'm still still gonna make sure that um after college i'm not just sitting at home on the couch okay so that's my thing have fun but make sure you're handling your business because the worst thing is to peak in high school you don't want that whether you're gonna play sports or go to college or go to trade school or i don't know like become a hairstylist whatever you're gonna do just make sure that you have a plan and you execute it because you don't want to be a bum you never want to give bum <laughs> but yeah that is the end of my freshman advice video this really was like more general tips for high school but yeah i hope you all have like a good freshman year i have more back to school videos coming so if you want any more make sure to you make sure to comment them um in the comment section down below May and also if you're like um anyone that's already experienced freshman year make sure that you comment any other advice that i may have missed in the um down below and if you're a freshman and you have any more questions something i didn't touch on feel free to comment that because i will be responding to comments as always and yeah make sure that you like comment and subscribe and follow me on instagram because like i said earlier them back them first week of school fits i'm not playing i'm not playing at all like it's drip or drown and i'm definitely not drowning <laughs> so Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Big Money underscore Nay and follow my business Instagram lashes from my business real bad. That's what they're called. 
at Dida Couture Boutique. And the website will be linked in the description box down below. And yeah, bye.